now. The governor of Colorado, Jared Polis. Uh, governor, very good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure. Uh, how concerned are you uh, by some of those statistics in, in neighboring states? Or, or if we look further afield, uh, Texas, Florida, North Carolina, seeing uh, cases start to spike uh, quite significantly since they reopened? Yeah, what we saw in Connecticut, New York, New Jersey was very much a regional phenomena. Uh, while Colorado is larger, uh, we absolutely have a lot of people who daily or monthly travel between Utah and western Colorado, Arizona and southwest Colorado. So while we're making great progress here and we're working hard to maintain it, of course we're worried uh, about some of our uh, neighboring states going in the wrong direction. How's your reopening going of business and daily life? It's going great. You know, we've had uh, we ended the stay at home order in April. We've had stores open for a couple months, restaurants in the last few weeks. Uh, people are doing things smart. They're doing things safer. Uh, we want, you know, as much normal ec economic activity in life to resume as possible. And that just means we need to be smart about it, do it in a good way. Uh, my six year old daughter is in a art camp this week. And so uh, we're very excited to have her there. Our day camps have been back for a couple weeks now. Go Governor, what's your outlook uh, as to what it would take to go into a severe lockdown? Uh, again. Uh, do you accept that the bar is much, much higher this time to want to shut the economy down in full? Well, our goal from the very start, we've been very consistent from uh, our actions in March through now, is we don't want to overwhelm our healthcare system and hospitals. Meaning if you get sick, and that's with COVID or non-COVID, right? Heart attack, stroke, appendicitis, COVID. We want to make sure that there is a bed and treatment for you. So we've expanded our hospital capacity about 20 percent more emergency beds. Uh, we have extra step-down beds that we've worked to set up, and you know we we want to make sure that if you get sick in Colorado, uh, you have a fighting chance of getting better. What have you learned about the the? sort of responsible ways of reopening things like business that might help guide you toward potentially reopening schools and that you could tell states here in the Northeast, like New York and New Jersey, which are preparing their phased reopenings about how to do this sort of successfully. What have you learned about masks wearing and, and other best practices? You know, it's not rocket science. It's common sense, right? It's about staying six feet from others where you can. Uh, our stores have, you know, decals on the floor where you wait. Uh, wearing masks, all people who work in stores wear masks. Several municipalities also require customers to wear masks in areas that don't require it. I still certainly encourage them as governor, if you're going out, if you're in public, wear a mask, protect yourself, protect others. Uh, you know, when we salons came back in April, hair, nail, both parties wear masks, both the client and the uh, the person administering the uh, the nail painting or the haircut. And uh, we, we've had a good experience with it. Um, we have to have as normal a life as possible. That means socially, psychologically, economically, but just do it in a new, smart, safer, better way. Governor, I wanted to ask uh, what your thoughts were on the, the, the recent protests that have broken out uh, all across America and in Colorado as, as well. Uh, what do you, what's your advice to people that still want to protest in light of uh, clearly the risks uh, given coronavirus? And uh, can you understand when sometimes protests boil over a little bit uh, from, from being purely peaceful? Well, look, uh, like most Americans, of course, um, I, I sympathize with the cause where we're, we, we need to end you know, racial discrimination and criminal justice in so many other areas. From the public health perspective, of course I'm worried. In fact, that's probably been my biggest concern this last week. Uh, we're going to start seeing any increasing cases really in the next few days. We've made so much progress against this virus in Colorado. Uh, are things safe? No. Are they reasonably safe? Yes. People can choose what level of risk to take. But I'm really worried uh, about additional cases from all those that are out there uh, exercising their rights. And to their credit, uh, when I look at the pictures and see them, most are wearing masks. And they're trying to do social distancing, but it's just hard with so many thousands of people.